Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn the mnemonics for the chapter Due Diligence, Investigation and Forensic Audit. So first question, what is the first question? Investigation of Hidden Liabilities. So how to remember? Show cause notice is CN issued for PTLC claims. So what is show cause notice? Any show cause notice which have not matured into demands but may be material and important. So ACN completed. Next PTLC. P stands for product and warranty liabilities, product returns and discounts, liquidated damages. Next T for tax liability under direct and indirect taxes. Next L. Long pending sales tax assessment. Next C stands for contingent liabilities not shown in books. PTLC completed. Now claims. Claims against the company including third party claims. So this is investigation of hidden liabilities. Many points are there. If you remember these six points, it will be enough. If you want to add another point, there is another claims also. Labor claims under negotiation. So you can write two claims. Claims against the company including third party claims. Next labor claims under negotiation. So it comes to seven points. Now come to next, next question. Investigation of overvalued assets. So how to remember I am Rao. I stands for investment. Investment shown at cost whose market value is much lower. Next I investment carrying very low rate of return. So I is completed. Next R. R stands for receivables. Uncollectable receivables. Next A. A for assets value which have impaired due to sudden fall in market value. Another assets is assets under litigation. Next O. O for obsolete, slow and non-moving inventories and inventories valued above net realizable value if any. Next O. Obsolete and unused plant and machinery at, and their space. That's it friend. Now third question. Conducting due diligence to examine cash generating abilities. So how to remember TTD DIP. If you go to Tirumala, there is a DIP facility where if you provide your other number, you will be selected for any seva. So TTD DIP. T stands for trade payables. Another T for trade receivables. Next D for deploys. What deploys? How well the company deploys its funds? Next I for idle. Are there any funds lying idle or is the company able to reap maximum benefits out of the available funds? Next pattern. What is the investment pattern of the company and are they easily realizable? So you circle all the keywords trade payables, trade receivable, deploys, idle and pattern. You can find this question in mock test paper of March 2021. Next one is factors to be considered in assessing future maintainable turnover. So how to remember T MPC, T for trend, M for marketability, next P for political and economic consideration, next C for competition. Now come to fifth question, audit versus investigation. How to remember this objective spin ROE, objective we know it, next spin. S for scope, next P for periodicity, next I for inherent limitations, next N for nature. So spin is completed. Now R O E, R for reporting, O for observance of accounting principles, next E, next e for evidence. Now come to sixth question. Issues to be kept in mind by investigator while preparing the report. So how to remember opinion is not relevant because of expressions, facts, basis, paragraph, restrictions are perfect. So because of all these things are perfect, opinion is not relevant. So opinion, opinion of the investigator should appear in the final paragraph of a report. Next to not relevant, you underline not relevant. The report should not contain anything which is not relevant.
next expressions expressions used should be properly considered so that possibility of arriving at a different meaning or interpretation other than the one intended by the investigator can be minimized next facts relevant facts and conclusion should be properly linked next basis basis and assumptions made should be explicitly stated next paragraph report should be made in paragraph form with heading with headings for the paragraphs next restrictions report should also state restrictions or limitations if any imposed on the instructions given by the client next general approach for investigation friends some mnemonics will be easy to remember and few are takes time so we need to repeat it 5 to 10 times to make it remember because there is no other option we need to write this in order so csp full c for clarity of terms of reference next s for scope of investigation next p for period for investigation so csp ho gaya now come to full framing of programs next u for using the work of experts next l for legal requirements and investigation report so csp full come to eighth question investigation on behalf of incoming partner so how to remember hdfc limited goodwill position can be seen in profitability and assets h stands for history of firm ascertaining the history of firm since inception and growth of firm next d d for deed of partnership studies of the provisions of deed of partnership particularly for composition of partners their capital contribution drawing rights retirement benefits job allocation etc next f stands for finance scrutinize the terms of loan finance to assess its usefulness and the implication for the overall financial position next c stands for composition study the composition and quality of key personnel employed by the firm and any likelihood of their leaving the organization next goodwill ascertain manner of computation of goodwill on admi on admission as also on retirement if any so hdfc goodwill is completed next position assess position of order at hand and the range and quality of clientele should be thoroughly examined under which the firm is presently operating next profitability scrutiny of the record of profitability of the firm's business over a suitable number of years next assets examine of the assets and liability position to determine the tangible assets investment appraisal of the values of intangibles like goodwill know how patents etc including contingent liabilities and those for pending tax assessment so these are the points comes under investigation on behalf of incoming partner now come to ninth question points to be covered in an investigation on behalf of bank so how to remember maps to sbc bangalore sbc maps to sbc so collection of information maps can maps comes under collection of information next sbc bangalore comes under examination of financial statements so m stands for manner in which borrower proposed to invest the amount of loan next a for authorization authorization under memorandum or the articles of association to borrow money for the purpose for which the loan will be used next p p for purpose purpose for which the loan is required next s for schedule schedule of repayment of loan submitted by the borrower so maps com- comes under investi collection of uh, information next sbc 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 comes under schedule of financial statements so s stands for schedule of assets and liabilities next b stands for break up of annual sales next c stands for computation of uh, relevant ratios next another c stands for condensed income statement that is preparation of condensed income statement ho okay. gaya now come to 10th question steps involved in verification of assets and liabilities included in the balance sheet so how to remember fii secured loans for ioc limited fii foreign institutional investors so f fixed assets next i for inventory 
next another i for investments next secured loans secured loans next ioc i for insurance o for other liabilities next c for contingent lib so fii secured loans for ioc limited 10th question completed now come to 11th question forensic audit versus financial audit so how to remember move frequency is technique so m stands for meaning o stands for objective b for verification of assets and liabilities next uh, e stands for extent next f frequency for frequency and technique for techniques so move frequency is technique now come to 12th question analysis to be carried out in process of forensic audit so how to remember spc limited present value arrived by statistical application so spc is for summarization of large number of transactions next p for performing robust procedures to trace unidentified assets next c for calculating the economic damages and if required the loss of goodwill spc completed next present value estimating the present value of the financial losses or frauds involved in case such irregularities or frauds took place for a long period of time next statistical performing the statistical regression or sensitivity analysis of the fraud etc next application using various computerized application softwares and graphs etc to explain and analyze the frauds so this is all about analysis to be carried out in process of forensic one small request friends if you are new to my channel please do subscribe now come to 13th question friends broad areas of information to be incorporated in the report of forensic auditor so how to remember final step of sections is to discuss with active listening skills final step of sections is to discuss with active listening skills so final step issuing an audit report is the final step of fraud audit now come to sections the report may include sections on the nature of assignment scope of investigation approach utilize limitations of scope and and findings and or opinions next one is discuss the report will also discuss how the fraudsters set up the fraud scheme and which control if any were circumvented next active listening skills the forensic auditor should have active listening skills which will enable him to summarize the facts in the report if you don't have this question you can get it from july 2021 attempt suggested answers so broad areas of information to be incorporated in the report of forensic auditor is complete now come to 14th question steps to be undertaken in forensic audit so how to remember ipc prc so it is same like before we have studied na csp full same way there is no other option to repeat it 5 to 10 times ipc prc ipc indian penal code ipc prc i for initialization next p for planning the audit next c for collection of evidences next ipc completed next prc performing analysis next r for reporting next c for court proceedings now come to 15th question techniques of forensic audit so how to remember bad dsc digital signature certificate bad dsc so b stands for benchmarking next a stands for analytical tools next d for digital techniques bad completed next dsc d stands for data mining techniques next s stands for system analysis next c stands for common software tools and another c for cats so bad dsc digital signature certificate is completed now come to 16th question need for forensic audit so how to remember fc fp free cash flows for equity so f stands for fraud detection next c stands for computer forensics next f stands for fraud prevention next e stands for expert testimony so in exam there is another way to ask question also areas in which forensic auditor can render the service so you can mention this four points also so same question need for forensic audit or areas in which forensic auditor can render the service now come to 17th question 
open source digital forensic tools so what are the open source digital forensic tools available for the auditor so how to remember lcd ssc mtp lcd stands for live analysis next c for cross drive analysis next d for deleted files so lcd completed next ssce s stands for stochastic forensics next s stands for steganography next e stands for in case so ssc is completed next mtp so m stands for md5 next t for tracking log files next p stands for pc system log so lcd ssc mtp is completed now areas in which due diligence can take place so how to remember cop file so co co stands for commercial or operational due diligence next p co completed next p p for personal due diligence next file f for financial due diligence next i for information system due diligence next l for legal due diligence next e for environmental due diligence so cop file next aspects to be covered in financial due diligence so how to remember ssc limited eps cfs eps for earnings per share cfs for cash flow statements so ssc limited eps s stands for studying the business history next another s for significant accounting policies next e stands for examining profit and loss account next e for examining net worth next p for payment of taxes next s for studying the economic environment next cfs c for cash flow next f for financial projections next s for statutory compliance so ssc limited eps cfs so friends this is all about due diligence investigation and forensic audit so revise this mnemonics as many times as possible and always have a confidence that you can do it so friends hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a great day